Okay, next up we got Autobot Jazz. Here we go. Autobot Jazz because Jazz. I guess it was lost. And look, look at my box. It's it's all scratchy scratched. You know, all the Autobots have this. Uh, and the Decepticons have a Decepticon symbol. Autobots got an Autobot symbol. Let's see. Jag's weak point is his skills. So, like Barricade, uh, he's clumsy, I guess. But he's really good, he's really courageous and very quick. And it, it doesn't show his uh, DJ Mixmaster skills there, but apparently I think he has a lot of those. Anyway, that's Jazz. Jazz's box, US box. Alright, let's change him. Is really plain looking, very silver, very ordinary, somewhat uh, dull, and uh, for, of course, look at his tires. All plastic, hard plastic. Not uh, right, right off the bat. I'm not. Uh, I'm not really impressed with them. Not really impressive. Look at that. Kind of dull, I think. Let's compare them with, uh, this is the Binaltech, uh, Meister, which is jazz. But, uh, of course Binaltech's fucking rule. But, uh, yeah. Not smaller, not that impressive. Size of bumblebee. Let's with Chickma. Everybody has a bumblebee now, I imagine. A little bit bigger than bumblebee. I guess volume-wise, a little bit of features. His spoiler moves up and down. Uh, his wheels rotate. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you about uh, Jazz. Which is a warning. This is a warning, warning, Will Robertson. So, anyway, of course, Jazz does like this. One thing, Jazz has these, I guess, guns on his, on his feet, okay, which everyone should have guns on their feet. But, uh, of course, the legs look really nice. They fold out like this. They, uh, Come on, foot. Come on. And uh, the legs look really, really nice. Look at that. That was a really nice looking leg there. It's got all that interlacing stuff that I like. The guns, they move this way, and of course they can kill bad guys, you know, that are near his feet. You know, maybe shoot them when they're down or something. But one warning, which actually you can see, look at that wheel. See that? I rotated the guns this way and actually, like, pushed the wheel out. Now it's all wobbly. So be careful with this uh, gun here. This wheel is nice and tight. Look at that. No wobble. Just straight rotation. But this one's all wobbly. Look at that. Oh. I, I tried to push the pin in, but it uh, didn't really work. So I think my jazz is screwed up. So, but, uh, yeah, nice figure. I uh, give Jazz a, a, a seven. Like him a little bit better than Barricade. Okay, let's see if we can transform them. Maybe I can transform them on camera. Yeah, I wanted to transform all these guys for the first time out the box, but, uh, I found with their auto morphing it was a little bit difficult, so I didn't uh, I didn't do a very good job transforming out the box without instructions. That is, I did have to look at these instructions a little bit. These this hood pops up like this. Uh, this wheel, these wheels, front wheels, they stretch out like that. Okay, then. Uh, you drop the the back windshield or the well, I guess the windshield and his head pops up and this adjusts. Oh, oh, oh come on baby. Watch the front grill. 
Come on, and you can do it. You can, there it goes. The front grill just moves in. This pops out and that moves in. Uh, his arms are kind of weird. They, uh, his hands are these little claws. They look like little rabbit feet. I guess he's jazzed a rabbit transformer. And, uh, the shoulders, they rotate all the way around like that. Uh, this is actually, in, I didn't, I just wanted to show you the, the, the problem I had, but I guess I'll use this as my review. Uh, and he looks pretty much like that. Uh, pretty good figure. Uh, in Japan, he's a little expensive. I mean, you guys should buy him in the U.S. He's, uh, I think, comparatively, comparatively cheaper. But uh, he looks like that in regular car killing mode. Uh, this uh, back spoiler part here can rip off. It's kind of not really... I guess a good come on get off there doesn't come off that easily now does it uh, there we go rip that off yeah, that's a re that's really good for the toys isn't it ripping parts off I think the designers could have done a better job with that but you know what are you gonna do the designers they don't know how to play with toys and uh, that peg goes into his wheel up here as a like an arm shield like that okay and this I didn't show you his gun but that goes onto his back that telescopes in and out that goes into his hand but you have to like open up the hand and put it into this peg this hole in here peg into the hole just like that so his hand is actually not even holding the gun it's just like you know his hand is on the side of the gun uh, I don't know if that's really cool and then of course or I think it's a sword or something but uh, that's what he looks like uh, let's give him the rotation uh, pretty nice figure uh, like I said, I'd give him what a, what a seven on the figure wise. You have to be careful with him because he is delicate. So, I mean, the, the wheels, uh, you know, can get loose if you tra mistransform him. Uh, you have to rip parts off of him, which you saw wasn't very easy to do. Uh, the color scheme is pretty crappy. Uh, it's just like a plastic you know gray uh, his hands are kind of goofy little I mean, what kind of hand is that it's not even a hand it's like a little some nothing uh, he does let's see if we can zoom him up here look at that he does got the eyes that glow that's pretty cool um, his automorphine is so-so, a little bit tricky, but uh, if you can transform him correctly, and uh, he looks pretty nice in robot mode, maybe he's a nice toy, but uh, look at this, look at that wheel, just wobbling. You gotta be careful with this transformation, but, uh, yeah, nice, nice figure, everyone... I recommend this guy, but be careful. Just be careful. You don't want to screw him up. I think I got one leg shorter than the other. Oh yeah, that's what I do. His legs telescope. There. He's got a little bit of movement there. It's a little ballerina action.